All right, it's day seven. I took a zero yesterday and I think I'm good to continue. So let's bid farewell to Mount Laguna and see what else the trail has to offer. Just got the sun coming up right now. It's a good morning. So that's where I came from over there. Started this morning. And the sun is just starting to peak up and wow. Now that is a view, uh, that's a view, you know? What a beautiful sight. Let's see if I can get a close up on that mountain. Oops. There we go. Wow, look at that. Let's get that whole view. We started over there. Gradually saw more of this. Stunning. And then, just in time for the sunrise. Wow. not get over this view and it's like just barely breezy too it's not windy at all really now that's a nice view too looks like I just came in from a burn area a lot of these trees are dead and well burnt that valley off into the distance it's magnificent So there is actually the ridge that I uh, started the morning on. Well, that I saw the, the sunset on. Looks like I asked the arrow point. Okay. Well, I went this way. Seriously, though, this is a spectacular area. Man, the views were so worth it. Again, just look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I, I heard my, my viewers, the demand of the people who said to have it in uh, landscape instead of portrait. So, this episode is especially for you guys, just in time. Wow, that mountain is just stunning. And then all the mountains beyond it, man. <laughs> Yeah, I can really see why uh, why this trail is so beloved. Magnificent. some water at the spigot, the good spigot. Now we're heading back. We're back to it. Are we going left? Well, we can take the trail back. I mean, because you can, it's like a shortcut this way. But we're here to walk the trail. Okay. Here is Yeah, there you go. That's a nice view. You can see on that ridge there where that tower is, just below that is where I was earlier this morning with the sunrise. Very nice. Mile 50. Mile 50. Boom. That's the view. 
and that's where we're going. Well, mile 50 already. So over there in the distance, there's some dead trees. I'm wondering if this area used to be shadier, but a fire came through and killed them. I don't know. It would be awfully nice to have those pine trees again, but we've moved beyond that. We've moved on and we're off to find other sites and, and pine trees and other places. I'm sure there will come times where I'll be so cold, I'll be like, you know, Dev, you really should have enjoyed that heat while you had the chance. And as a rebuttal to future Dev, Dev enjoy the, the cold because <laughs> you could just bundle up and get warmer. <laughs> right now, there is nothing for shade. So there's a fire right now. Ah, oh, check that out. That's a cool sign. <sighs> yeah. A nice round number. Don't stop. So we stopped off to do a little lunch and a breather back at a rest stop by the road. And now we're continuing on about three miles to camp. <sighs> Look at that view. Man, just the depth. How far you can see. Wow. So awesome. So this uh, apparently used to be an old road and it kept falling off over the side. So like, you know, it's pretty steep as you've just probably seen. And uh, along the way here, there's a memorial. And I, I'm you know, not certain, but it looks like all these people probably have uh, lost their lives here. If you know anything about it, tell me more feel free to because I would love to learn more of the history on this and coming up just the road again it looks like we have another monument I was told that the fire was actually a controlled burn, so we didn't really need to worry. And then look at this view. This is the evening view, the sunset. Just like uh, this particular section from morning to, to evening has really been just, just amazing to look at. Amazing views.